<clears throat> there we go, The Cure. What, what's the name of the song? Oh, yeah, Just Like Heaven. Good morning, Double R Radio, 820, uh, Por la Mañana, February the 13th, 20, 20, 20, live on Facebook. Stop by and say hello and say good morning. I'll say good morning. We go back and forth, back and forth, forth and back, and all that other good stuff. Man, um... Lots to talk about here, but, you know, before anything else, you know, I know sometimes you think I'm making up stories. No. I don't make up stories. I just kind of sugarcoat them a little bit. That's all I do. Good morning, Jedi. Good to Irvi Ordiales. Good morning. How we doing? Anyways, there's the, there we go, Mr. Pepe Marquez, Santa Barbara, California's very own. Mr. Wait, Pepe. Hey, dude, uh, that picture you posted uh, with, with that fish, um, did you actually catch that fish, amigo? Or did you go to the fish market, you bought it, went out, took it in front of the lake and pretended to catch it, Pepper? You know, you got to be honest here, Pepper. You, you got to come clean and say, come clean, Mato. <laughs> Pobre Pepper, right? He catches the fish and I'm dogging him a little bit. <laughs> he said, Pepper, I caught the fish, Robert. Right? <laughs> good morning, Chad Aguilera. Dana Contreras. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Dan Aguilera. How you doing, brother? Anyways, Thursday morning it is, gearing up. For the weekend, gearing up for Valentine's Day, as to tomorrow, um, I'm not excited. I'm, I'm going to go have uh, breakfast at Jim's Coffee Shop, and then I'm going to treat myself to uh, Jack in the Box for lunch, and for dinner, I'll probably order a pizza, and I'll be good to go. <laughs> Pepe, which one, Pepe? Pepe? Pepe says, yes, I did. Pepe, did you actually catch the fish, or did you go to the fish market, compraste el pescado, and you took it with you, took it in front of the lake, and you took a picture? Uh, which one is the, yes, I did, Pepe. I need to know. You got to complain, dude. Good morning, Chad. I got that to Charlie Puente. Good morning. Uh, Gen uh, Geneva. I got that right. Geneva. I'm not even going to try that word. We'll go with Tristan. There we go. Good morning. Charlie Puente. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Donna Contreras. Dallas, Texas in the casa. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Anyways, um, let me see here. Uh, <laughs> I said, Pepe, I did both. I went to the fish market, and I also caught one. There you go. <laughs> okay. Ow! Let me tell you what happened to me yesterday, man, and you're going to think I'm making this up. I'm not making it up. This is all true, man. Yesterday, before I got started doing the Uber thing, I took my car to the car wash like I normally do, right? I get that um, unlimited car washes per month kind of a thing. At the wash tub here in San Antonio. Well, that being said, good morning, Chad. Good to Prima. Irene Gayona, good morning, Prima. That being said, I take my car there, right? They wash it, they clean it, the inside, todo el vato, they dry it, whatever, doing everything on the inside, right? I get in my car. Good morning, Chad. I'm to double our video sponsor, DJ Abel Martinez. Good morning, brother. So I get in my car, right? And I'm at, I, I move up, I'm, I'm gone. I'm at the red light. I'm here waiting for the light, and the light's taking forever. I'm like, oh, being shed loose. Sometimes I like to cuss out the lights. When they don't want to turn green, I cuss them out. Or when they turn red, right where you're coming up on it, I like cussing out the street lights. But that's another story. So anyways, right, I'm in my car. I'm like this. Lo and behold, man, this bee, a bee's flying around in my car, right where I took off, right where I'm driving again. There's this bee, man, and I'm going like, hey, que la fregada, and all of a sudden I'm staring over here. All true. I'm going like, hey, bean series, back here, right me. <laughs> and whoever was in back of me must have said, this guy's got to be on drugs. Really? <laughs> I was just, so I opened the window and tell the bee, right? and uh, when I opened the window, I'm trying to like push the bee out of here. You know, and finally the bee went out the window. I said, man, but now, all true, all true, I recorded the audio to what happened. The audio part, I recorded it by accident. Now, the bee, while it was you know, flying around, it was saying, cat, C-A-T. Then it go, dog, D-O-G. Then it was flying, and then it said, sky, S-K-Y. And I said, man, I know what kind of bee that is. That was a spelling bee. Nah, nah, not funny. Stupidest joke ever, Robert. Okay, well, the bee part is true. The spelling part isn't, but the, but the, the flying bee... That's true stuff right there. There you go. You don't have to laugh. It's okay. That's all right. I don't take it personal. 
Good morning, Chad. I'm going to have to John Lee, Yanis. Good morning, Lupita Castillo. Good morning, Double R Video sponsor, Maria Lopez. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Let's see what's going on here in this crazy, crazy world of ours. Ah, where do I want to go? Uh, we'll go here first. We'll go with uh, pretty desperate to get a new story. There we go. Firefighters in Florida rescued a puppy from a storm drain. How exciting, right? Okay, we'll get rid of that one. By the way, the puppy was asked, how did you feel when you were stuck in that drain? And the puppy was quoted as saying, rough, rough. So it was kind of rough for the puppy. There you go. You don't have to laugh at that either. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I don't take it personal. Now, here we go. Another one. A Japanese man is, is um, dubbed the world's oldest person on this planet. The Japanese man is 112 years old. Man. 112 years old and he was asked how did you do it how have you lived so long he said he claims to have sex every day only problem is he only has it with himself there we go okay we we'll, we'll pass that Japanese guy there we go another crazy story Florida police in Florida responded to a home of a resident who found a seven-foot alligator in their garage this is why I don't live in Florida I want nothing to do with Florida and those pinches lagartos want nothing to do with them. Good morning, John. I got up to Janie Torres Rivas. Good morning, good morning, primo. Rogelio Rivas. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, now let's see here what else is going on. I don't want that. We'll go right there and get rid of that. You know, this one here, um, this one here is, is, is really, really unreal. Check this out. This is a crazy story right here. Check this out. Stay with me on this one, okay? There we go. Good morning, Chad. I got another double R radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez. That I mean, it's Houston, Texas. Hopefully, you're feeling better, amiga. Cynthia's been under the weather. She says, Robert, I've been all mocosa, all watery eyed, then more mocosa, then watery eyed. And then I got to go to the restroom every 10 minutes. I'm really sicky, Robert. And I told her, Cynthia, you're giving me more information than what I need. But that's okay. You're giving me more information than what I need. Okay. So anyways, hopefully you get better. There we go. Anyways, um, <laughs> um, check this out. Crazy story. A Pennsylvania elementary school called the police after a kindergartner, kindergarten with Down syndrome, made a finger gun at the teacher. The teacher didn't like it. She told the principal. The principal called the cops on the Down syndrome six-year-old who made a finger gun, you know, like, like that, you know, playing around. Well, anyway, the cops were called on this six-year-old kindergartner with Down syndrome. Really? Are you serious? For a six-year-old to pretend to have a gun, use her finger, and go, the cops were called. Heck, man, when I was going to elementary school, I didn't use that finger. I used my middle finger. <laughs> really, man, are you going to go for it? Go for the gold. Use the middle finger. Forget about the pointing the gun finger. Use the middle finger. Good morning, Chad. I'm going to have to Bernadette Reyes. Good morning, Cynthia Gonzalez. I already told you good morning, Cynthia. Uh, also, it's the Double R Radio sponsor, Cynthia. Uh, good morning, Chad. I'm going to have to Micaela Cohen. Good morning, Michelle. How are we doing? Michelle, you've been sicky. Cynthia, sicky. There's a lot of people that have been sicky. Really, man, hopefully everybody gets better. Good morning, Chad. I got up to Rosemary Gomez. Good morning, Rosemary. How are we doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, don't want to miss anybody here. Now, let's see here. What else do I have? Um, I'm going to touch on this one more time because I talked about this yesterday, and I'll do it again here quickly. Um, where am I? There we go. Now, we all know about the coronavirus, right? Coronavirus, man. We want to keep that away from us, as far away as possible, no doubt. Well, anyways, there is a cruise ship that is stuck out there in the, in the Atlantic Ocean uh, with passengers that have been stuck there because they have been quarantined because two or three people on that cruise ship have been, uh, have been, este, como se dice? They have been, este, what is the, not, I'm lost for words here. Uh, well, they found coronavirus on them. We'll go that route, okay? So, the whole cruise ship has been quarantined. Well, they're trying to cater to the people who are stuck there. Free food, free booze, and also free, um, <laughs> free porn. <laughs> As if that's going to make it better. Hey, man, I got to get back to work. Do not worry, Mr. Rebus. We're going to give you free porn. Oh, okay. That's all right. All right. I'm good with that. <laughs> send me a pizza, send me a beer, and uh, send me the waitress, and uh, go ahead and crank up that free porn. Is, is that going to make things better if you're stuck on a cruise ship?
membership for two weeks? Really? Really? Uh, we'll give you free porn. You'll be taken care of. All right. I appreciate it. You guys are the best. I don't think so. Do not forget tomorrow morning. Uh, free Form Friday, but of course tomorrow morning. Well, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So that being said, tomorrow morning's morning show is going to be a special Valentine's Day morning show. Nice and romantic. All the lovey-dovey music and all that other good stuff. And if you don't get lucky after that, don't blame me. You just blame yourself. Good morning, shout out. And that's a double R radio sponsor, Deborah Camarillo. She calls me baby now every morning. Eh? Also, it's a good morning going out to Deanna Gonzalez. Good morning, Karen Perkins. Good morning, good morning, good morning. My neighbor, Karen Perkins, she says, Robert, I live close to you. That's awesome. It really, really is. Anyways, let's keep it going. Let's do something by the whispers. Let's rock steady on this Thursday morning. Buenos dias, Double R Radio. Join me right now, everybody. Por favor, join me. Head on over to robertrevisradio.com. Simple, robertrevisradio.com. Just click on that media player button, man. It's all free. Join me now. What are they?